In this video, we will walk you through how to program a digital Chelsea switch with the GR series panel. Once you have mapped and addressed your digital Chelsea switch, you will be able to program a function to each of its buttons. To do so, enter into the user menu and tab down to select Program Switch and press Enter. From this page, you should see a listing of all the switches currently a part of your system. It's important to note that a switch number on this page can be different than its address number. However, the device ID to the left corresponds to the switch address in the bus map. When you have the correct switch you wish to program highlighted, press Enter. This will bring you to a screen that will list out the buttons you've defined the switch as having per your bus map. The Chelsea switch was defined as a six button switch and we can see six individual button options. In order to program a specified button, Press tab down to select the button number you wish to program and press enter. We will program the first button. On this screen, you will see the operational function of the button highlighted, and traditionally, this is in the on mode by default. With this function highlighted, press scroll up or scroll down to review the different functions and find the one you wish for the button to perform. We will select toggle, which allows the switch to manually control the load. Once you've decided on a function, Press the tab down button to select the LCP number, the load, or relay that you wish for the button to activate with the assigned function. You can change the assigned LCP or the assigned load by selecting the number to the right and using scroll up or scroll down. Once you've selected the correct LCP number, you do not need to press enter. Once you've selected the correct load or relay number, press enter to add it to a list of what the button controls. This will appear in slightly smaller writing beneath the word edit. You can press enter again in order to remove it from the same list. The list will show an LCP number that has relays controlled by this button first, followed by the numbers equating to the relays themselves. It's important to note that when you see a dash between two numbers, it indicates that all relays in order between those two numbers are included. You can have a single button control up to eight relays at a time, but in order to control more, you must instead assign a group to the button instead. Groups and their included relays can be created and defined in the Group Loads menu. Once you've assigned the relays and the function of the button, you can exit back out to select the button page and tab down to select a new button to program. Repeat as needed until all buttons are programmed as desired. To test your switch, exit back to the home screen and press one of the buttons you've programmed. As we can see, our button 1 is controlling the first load, indicating we have successfully programmed our Chelsea switch. That concludes our video. Thanks for watching.